Concrete day, concrete pavers. We're gonna level out all the surrounding ground around here. This is the paver mold. Hey fishies. Leveling the ground is very important. It's time consuming and labor intensive, but the results are outstanding. 80 pound bags, they are no joke. They're very heavy. They feel like they weigh more than 80 pounds. Here I have 70 bags and I put them all on my gorilla cart. I put a board across it. It handles the weight 160 pounds with no problem. Two pallets full of concrete, crack resistant, fiber reinforced concrete. Station all done here, Easter. The mixer is ready for the cement. I have two of these trays. The wheelbarrow, Jay is leveling out the ground. It looks amazing. And his music. We have the prep station ready. I have the uh, tint. This one is called Buff. Buff tint. It's like a grayish, brownish, more gray than anything. And then this is terracotta. All right, so I don't want so much reddish, so I'll figure I'll mix them. And I have 80 pound bags of concrete, and I'm gonna put it's by ounces, so one ounce would fit, one ounce would be for, uh, will treat 20 pounds of concrete. So I'll put four ounces, that'll be the 80 pounds. So I'll probably put my mixture, I'm gonna try two ounces terracotta, two ounces buff, and we'll see how it looks. What I'm looking for is this type of color, where you see red, gray, red, red, gray. So some of them I'll make all that buff color, and the others I'll mix it. So this is like a, you know, a lighter terracotta. And these are bricks. One of the biggest challenges is the edge on the inside of the pond. But I found these, I found these edgers for concrete pavers, which is supposed to be dug directly into the soil. But we have the pond liner here. But I think I devised an interesting way to uh, set this up. This is the first run, and uh, listening to some people, I made it a little too soupy. But um, what I want to show you here is the edging. Because see, the pond runs across here, and these molding are uh, multi-directional or multi-shapes. And then what happens is the outside will be pointing out. So I got this. This is a, a edge for pavers and they're flexible. I put over here masonite hardboard with the soft part on top. We're putting the cement in here that way as just before it's nice and firm I can pull it out and we'll have a nice straight edge all the way around the, the pond. This, this um, edge are actually bends So this is what I wound up doing. This back edge here, because you know, because of the the um, asymmetrical angles of this mold, it, it would leave it open. So I'm using this edge paver, and it's really good. But you have to give it enough space, like this, because when I take off when I take off this edge. If there's too little, it fell over into the pond. So now this is much wider, much better. Over here is where the standpipe is, you see it? So that's come right, left that blank. So, so far, not too bad, moving along. 
And then also, since, since this is the back, I can experiment with some colors. And I'm going a little bit darker here with the terracotta. As you see, it was lighter over there. That's okay, that'll be hidden. It's not the showpiece yet. All right, here we go. All right, so just filling it up here. This is not something that's fast. It's time consuming. And in my case, I don't want anything to fly into the pond. Champions. Correct. 